Hello, friends and family, and welcome to our boring meditation stuff. It is Saturday, September 12th, but not really. I record these a few days early. Um, I wanted to talk about self-importance today. Uh, I, I think that this is something that I have really battled with in my adult life, and I see it as becoming more and more of a problem for more and more people all the time. I think that for my parents' generation and certainly for my grandparents' generation um, as immigrants and um, where there was a real measure of significant financial difficulty in people's lives that everyone still has ego. Everyone still has a sense of self-importance. Um, but there, would, there was a real, there was a, a genuine struggle involved in, okay, I need to educate myself and then I need to get a job and now I need to raise my family. And as the world progresses its way out of poverty and out of war, which we are, we're, we're doing better and better all the time on those things, and science is helping us do better and better all the time, which is good. The other end of the spectrum, um, those of us who live in the 1%, and that's probably anyone watching this video, <laughs> Um, we suffer from a new affliction and that new affliction is this mega inflated sense of self-importance and I found myself really subscribing to this in my first jobs um, my first professional jobs. I, I had summer jobs and things when I was a teenager, but as an adult, my first real jobs, they made me feel smart. They made me feel accomplished. Um, and they made me feel important. And there's this sort of compounding of not only am I important, but my time is important and almost by like mathematical consequence, the people around me, as I become more and more important, they become less and less important. Um, and their time matters less and their ideas matter less, and their experiences matter less. The tools available to us today, the kinds of communication tools that we have, the kind of self-expression tools that we have, they're phenomenal. Um, they're really interesting. A Twitter and Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, they, they allow people methods of expression that simply weren't possible before. And we have the resources, we have the wherewithal to enjoy these sorts of things. And what becomes difficult is that every time we express ourselves, and even though these videos are primarily intended for friends and family, I find myself hesitating <laughs> to create them. I still, I am, I'm doing it. It's more about the streak as, as much as anything else at this point. <laughs> um, though, I'm still very much for the, the two or three people who watch them. Um, that... Uh, that there is a risk even in this small audience, right? The two or three people that 
I'm going to say something arrogant or I'm going to say something that implies that I know better than other people. And these tools, these social tools, these infrastructural tools, um, because there are corporate equivalents, right, um, that we see in universities and offices and wherever else. They constantly pump up this idea, this idea of self-importance, that my time is so important, that my learnings are so important, that I am so important. And it seems that it's perhaps becoming kind of a disease, that we have this kind of cultural disease in the affluent world of, of self-importance. <laughs> um, and I'm sure if you look around you, especially if you take time away from the internet, um, time away from communication media, and it's hard right now, I mean, when we're trapped at home, it's hard to say, oh, well, this whole weekend, I won't touch my phone, it'll be in airplane mode. I won't turn on my computer, it'll be powered off. Um, but you could try and you can see uh, your own behavior and other people's behavior when you return to the world of devices and the world of the web. I find every time I do that, I'm surprised by the way that I behave. And over time, then I get wrapped up in it again. Um, but this behavior of self-importance doesn't really self-regulate. Um, and as a matter of fact, it's kind of self-perpetuating. And so this is what meditation gives you is an opportunity to regulate, to regulate self-importance to some degree. And it's an interesting approach to regulating self-importance because it forces all of the attention on yourself. Um, to observe my own breathing is to pay attention to nothing but myself. This is myself. This is inherently myself. Um, and everything that is distracting me is also myself, right? If my eyes are closed and I'm sitting motionless, then whatever is coming up in my head, thoughts and emotions, this is me and this is my state of mind. Um, however scattered it might be, um, at least I can be aware of it. I may not be changing it yet, but I can be at least aware of it. I can know, oh my, <laughs> I can't seem to follow three breaths before my mind shoots off into space and I'm worried about some other thing, I'm worried about some other idea. Um, and it is often, for me especially, at least, it is often the case that these thoughts, these jumping, swinging monkey thoughts, that they are thoughts bound up in self-importance. I need to do this. I need to go do this. This work needs to get done and it needs to get done by me. <laughs> um, there's a real difficulty there because we all do need to accomplish our work, but if we're doing so by constantly obsessing about accomplishing that work, um, it happens much slower actually. So this strange little technique of paying attention to our own breath focusing 100% of our attention on ourselves intentionally um, can actually slowly, bit by bit, unravel this self-importance. The disease of self-importance can be cured over a long enough time period. <laughs> All right, I hope everyone is taking very good care of themselves and very good care of everyone around them. And um, that's a good assessment too, to look at the people around you and see how well you're taking care of them because that's a good indication of uh, how dampened we've kept our self-importance, if at all. <laughs> all right, I will talk to you all tomorrow. Goodbye.